in already. <laughs> we need that. Hey, it's Evan from Lux BMX here. Uh, today we're gonna do another kind of a frequently asked Friday. Uh, a little bit different, um, but yeah, just wanted to run through some of the, the tools and some of the behind the scenes sort of stuff that we use. It's not gonna be a comprehensive uh, run through of everything we use, but just some of the unique stuff, some of the stuff that might be a little bit different or some things that we have had questions about that uh, people aren't 100% sure how to use. So yeah, that's it. So a lot of the time in the shop we come up against uh, problems with compatibility on small componentry. Um, you know, sometimes the simplest thing can just be a, a space or a, a small part like a hub part or a bottom bracket part, headset part, um, that yeah, you know, you, you, you'd be stuffed if you didn't have the exact sizes or have something that's completely going to fit. So um, the lathe is something that we actually use uh, quite a bit. Uh, when it comes to, yeah, some of the small parts. Um, uh, I've machined a lot of different pieces, even like new axle assemblies and um, yeah, cone hardware, modified stems even with counterboring and the stems, one of the first things we did quite a while ago before companies started doing it. But yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, it's one of those things, it's, uh, it's certainly paid for itself tenfold. Uh, the amount of times we've just had to, you know, make up a really small spacer or a shim or uh, something really simple. That's a really, it's been an asset. So with the Onyx hubs, through bolts for Onyx hubs, something that was, it's quite easy for us to cut down and re-tap threads, um, sort of make them exactly the right size you need. There's a lot of incompatibilities with different width frames and forks and things like that. So that's been really crucial. Probably the next most valuable uh, tool or most useful tool we have here in store is our spoke uh, cutting and threading machine. So it's a Phil Wood, uh, spoke threading machine i think it's about 25 years old it's been rebuilt a hundred times i've yeah know it inside out <laughs> i've come very uh very comfortable with it um but yeah it gives us the opportunity or the ability to be able to cut any spoke down to any size uh when you are cutting spokes um the you you basically yeah the the thread needs to be uh, rolled on it's not cut so they're essentially cold forged the way they're made so there's two dies on either side that they roll the spoke through uh, so yeah it gives us the ability to take i'm just going to grab a spoke so to take a, a 300 mil long spoke these are these are titanium these are the spectre tie spokes so um, yeah we can basically cut down to any size with that uh, pretty straightforward uh, pretty much with one movement you're cutting the, the spoke and then you're rolling another thread on it so like I said really valuable uh, for just in the fact that we can cut any custom lengths we need when we're building wheels we can just grab all the spokes and just cut them to size cut them perfectly to size and build them not having to worry about you know having certain lengths in stock so that's been been an asset uh, as you can see this we do a lot of tie <laughs> bucket full of offcuts <laughs> so um, which we'll have to recycle so cool uh, yeah so the next tool we we use quite a lot um, is the uh, is a truing stand so obviously you know building a lot of wheels you want to you know have a good truing stand uh, we've got one that has like dial indicators basically so you've got uh, a much higher uh, tolerance that you can work with uh, this gives you a much much finer reading uh, for your for the trueness and the high and low and that sort of stuff so you know well, the closer you can get with that the truer the wheel gets and uh, the better you can build the wheel so even on this little little bad boy so uh, yeah so going with a, a truing stand uh, the next kind of you can you know get around it but uh, the next important thing you need is a dishing tool so this will tell you how dished your wheel is like how straight it is so how evenly spaced it is both sides so um, yeah having it making sure that you can get it to sit either side it's really valuable so the next tool we use daily is uh, this is a headset press bottom bracket press uh, traditionally with frames that headset cups that's what you'd have to use to push them in but uh, with that, you're not really doing too much of that these days. A lot of frames have integrated headsets, so uh, yeah, mostly bottom brackets. Uh, that's what we use this for, so uh, really simple way to put bottom brackets in the frames. You'll see these on a lot of our videos when we're, we're building bikes, but that gets used every day, multiple times. It's a really, really handy tool to have. It gives you a really precise job. Uh, there's also a smaller 
similar, con or the same concept. So this will be for uh, hub assembly, uh, so putting your bearings in your hubs. Um, we've got specific uh, spaces for different size bearings. Uh, it can be used for some bottom brackets as well, but that's a pretty, uh, pretty valuable tool to have. One of the last tools uh, I want to show you is actually a tool that I made uh, probably about 15 years ago. Uh, this was just simply to pull bearings out of, old, out of drivers. So whenever you had uh, a hub driver that the bearing had exploded and it still had the bearing race inside, um, yeah, basically just that goes in, you tighten it up, as it expands, it clamps inside the bearing or the race of the bearing and then you punch it out from the other side. So um, yeah, I, there is, there's, there's collet blind bearing pullers on the market you can buy, you can buy sets of them, but uh, yeah, I just made this and it's probably, yeah, saved a lot of, a lot of drivers <laughs> um, throughout the years. It still works, still use it all the time, still use it every day. Thanks, handsome Bushman. Well, that's a little about some of the tools we use here at Lux BMX. If you have any other questions in regards to some of the interesting tools we might use or anything else you might be stuck with, hit us up. Thanks again.